Welcome to another Blackstone Fortress Project update video. After this video, I am done with all the unnamed characters in Blackstone Fortress, and I am super excited about that. Today, though, we're going to be painting the Negaville Cultists. To be honest, I wasn't looking forward to these models. Uh, one, I don't really like their head tentacles. I think they look dumb. I, I didn't snip them off, but they just look like they're hard to paint and detail, and I just wasn't really digging that. The other thing, when I was looking at the box art for these, I saw something that scared the willies out of me. And that is hot glowing metal. I'll be honest, I'm a better than average painter. Mostly. Maybe not on the internet, but for most people that you would see in a game store. But the one thing I've never been able to really successfully work with is orange and yellow. Um, I'm awful at it. In this video, you're going to see me finally get it about right by facing my fears and just doing it. So, we'll start off with the walkthrough. So the very first thing that I did was I went in and, of course, primed it black, hosed it down with exhaust manifold from the Vallejo Acrylic Metal Color line which is awesome I hope you get a chance to get those if you uh, don't see them at your local store either order them online or talk to your uh, local retailer about getting them and you, you will never look back these are the best metallic paints I've ever worked with after that I went in and painstakingly base coated all the skin areas with splinter camouflage base from Panzer Aces this is again an acrylic Vallejo paint and that worked awesome. I also went in and base coated the coils on their backpacks with the same color just to kind of give myself a brighter base to work off of. A lot of times I prime dark and I try and paint bright on top of that. That can take a lot of time so I figured starting off with a lighter base would actually make a lot more sense. From here I experimented a little bit. I thought about glazing it with some red didn't work, didn't give me the results I wanted. I then went in with a P3 orange from Privateer Press and I painted it just flat orange, nice and smooth, couple coats. And then I started just blending that on my palette with a, another P3 paint, just yellow, and then into a white and just slowly layered it up and it worked. Problem solved. Inside of that, I put some Caribou Crimson, a couple layers of it, as well as a further layer of some Bloodletter glaze from Games Workshop, and that gave me the look that I wanted, which, easy peasy. The other thing, though, that gave me a hard time in this model was, frankly, painting everything else. It's hard whenever you're painting one of these really intricate models that would be very difficult to do in sub-assemblies. What I mean by that is, if you look at them, they're, they're so intricate that because they're push fit models, if you try and push them together after you've painted them, you're going to rub off the paint. So I had to paint these things fully assembled, which I don't always like to do when it's going to be a bad idea, but I did it anyway. And it, it was exactly as painful as I thought it would be. Yeah. There was a ton of cleanup on these models, and it was a huge pain in the butt, but we got it done. So, after that, I went in and painted in the base colors for the red, and then I started with my shading. Some Ethonian camo shade with some Caribou Crimson on the skin, as well as some further layers on the red with a little bit of my rust color just over the, the red cloth parts and then I went in and gave it a wash of Agrax Earth Shade over the cloth again just to hit those recesses and after that I gave it a nice overall wash of Nolan Oil and all the metal and I, I looked at it and I realized it was done. Awesome. Overall, these guys turned out a lot better than I thought they would. They are pretty close to the box art, I'm not going to lie. But I think their overall color scheme 
is really the look I was going for initially. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I am now done with all the non-named characters in Blackstone Fortress. I finished the Beastmen off camera. I've got everything done. Now I just have to do our main hero characters, Obsidious Malix, and maybe that extra Psyker that I have. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your viewership a huge amount. It really does mean the world to me. The the likes that I get on the videos are are nice. They're very encouraging and it helps keep me going. The likes actually keep me going a lot because I, I see that people watch it and they like it and that's awesome. If you did like this video and you haven't subscribed already, feel free to hit the subscribe and the bell button. Put out videos about once every week and try and make them the best I can. If you have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comments below. Happy to explain anything that you might want to know about what I'm doing in my process or why I'm not doing it a certain way. Always happy to communicate. Thank you again for watching. This has been Synthetic Black. I'll see you next time.